Welcome everyone, this is Bukhari. Today I'm going to show you how to create a image slider that slides different sizes of images in the slider. It is called auto height image slider. So let's dive in. First, I'm going to show you the source. See the demo first. This is the one auto height. This plugin provides logic for automatic height management, which is very useful for fluid or responsive design. So let's see the demo in here, shall we? Alright. So this is called auto height. This is what we are going to create and this is basically is going to be a different sizes of images in the image slider but here you see the same size of the images but mainly it is going to be like this okay we simply have to add the this function is in there and you just come to this side simply copy this command C and fire up the Dreamweaver CC file basically oops dream this is just crashed well it happens let's wait for this application to load up it is here and file name HTML5, HTML5 doc type create right before we go further I need to create a folder on my desktop give the name auto height that makes sense within this folder I'm going to create a folder or images Let's see okay and within this automatic folder I'm going to create another folder called JS and for the CSS we don't need a CSS folder because we don't need any CSS files in there so so within this folder I have two folders images and JS folder right now I'm simply going to copy some images that I want to put in my image slider. It is going to be a different sizes of images. Um, one that one this one and these two balls these are different sizes of images command C or right images command V you will see that 
dimension is small. This one is the same. This one is different. This one is different. This one is different as well. Yep. And I want to add another image. CC give it a title save it save as the on desktop auto height give it a name index or whatever you fancy save all right so far so good Now I'm going back to the browser where the code server. I'm simply, simply going to copy this code from here and going back to my Dreamweaver CC command V to paste and I'm simply going to change my images. Enter it's in auto hide images. I'm going to copy I'm to link this image first then the second one enter then the this one One, that one, that one, this one. All right, um, and then one more. Just bear with me. And this one, finally. All right. So for so good. Now we press live. We see our images are stacking on top of each other each other as it should be so these are the different sizes of images in here is you can see and we'll have a image slider with this kind of different sizes of images with it right okay so far so good now we're going to add the functionality and we're going to add it just after the title the javascript files and javascript jquery libraries and plugins right all right make some space in there okay so far so good um okay now first of all i'm going to download the uh save the javascript file jQuery dot com. Okay, this is the jQuery site. You come to the space and press in here. Just scroll below a little bit. Down the latest version, production and development version. Any of these will work. I'm going to download the compressed version. You see this code page you come to this page you simply go to file page save as or command s on my desktop auto hide in the js folder because it's a js file right save it okay we're done with the jquery file now the 
チェックよりプラネッツ、right? So we need、uh, three, two more jQuery plugins from this side. One is this one. Just come to this side. Then click in here in this link. This is the main file we'll, we'll need. Production and development version. Any of it will work. I'm going to download the production version. Press in here. I come to this code page, same file, save as on desktop, auto hide load folder in the JS folder, save, press the back button to come back to this page again. I'm going to simply add one more. JavaScript plugin file which is the auto hide which is not here and advanced download full download suite of downloadable files click in here right you see auto hide and the plugin provides logic for automatic hide management which is very useful for fluid or responsive designs okay I'm going to download the production version which is 1kb in size same thing we'll do for to save it file save page as or command s desktop auto hide js folder that's it we're done now I'm going back to the dream with a cc with our project files where our project files are now I'm going to add the these three jQuery files I'm going to add in my header of the document so let's do it structure command script make sure your cursor is blinking in here adjust after the title and come to the script pressing in command Category script desktop auto hide JS first and the jQuery 2.0.3 minified version dot JS file enter one more time script jQuery cycle 2 plugin minified version is the last time we're going to do it script press enter in here script then the auto hide plugin minified version open and that's it now we press refresh and it is fully functional nothing is happening by itself but it is fully functional as we press this next button previous button so it is not changing by itself that is because of this function this is very important guys if the timeout is set to zero it will do nothing by itself but it is fully functional okay you only press then it animates and if you want your images to slide automatically you need to put some time in there like 3000 milliseconds that is three seconds right okay now I press refresh it is going to animate by itself after three seconds have a look so
so this is how you create the image slider with different sizes of images with it it is called auto height image slider right you can customize it further but the purpose of this of this tutorial is to show you how to create this from scratch from the blank page getting the sources from the original sites and things like that and you simply have to make sure that you put it in the right place in the right format simply add three javascript files that's it and finally I'm going to check it in Safari save alright here it is we have set our timeout option to 3 seconds so it is animating by itself after every after 3 seconds and even if you, if you press previous or next or whatever it is going to animate by itself on your choice so I think it is cool and I think you find it very helpful and basically I made this tutorial based on a request to be honest so have fun with it enjoy with it and I hope that you have learned something from it so thank you for watching and please do subscribe make comments if it helps you if you like it if it comes in handy please give a thumbs up and please do share with others and have fun with it take care bye